the rap marvel studios to return to san diego comic cons hall h deadpool and wolverine opens that weekend of course so they hit out didn't go to comic con when they were dropping all the mcu crap now that we got freaking studs like hugh jackman and ryan reynolds two major popular fan characters we're gonna we're gonna poke our heads back out for comic con all of a sudden right how convenient it must be nice uh, umberto gonzalez after skipping hall h in 2023 a purpose-filled marvel studios will return to san diego's comic-con big top venue this year the rap has learned the company has deadpool and wolverine opening that weekend as well and with the film is i well they didn't even write this shit correctly and with the film is eyeing a record with that i think you meant to say the film is eyeing a record 200 plus million opening they'll have something to celebrate yeah <laughs> Finally. But hey, it's it's just because, you know, all the fans suck, right? The studio, which has always given convention goers flashy first looks at upcoming movies and shows, currently has multiple productions underway. Or are almost done, such as Captain America Brave New World, Thunderbolts, and Fantastic Four. Funny, because at Comic-Con two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, we had the announcement of the movie Blade. And why is that movie not on this list, huh? Where's uh, Blade at? You know, we're, we're having a little issue here. We've written the script freaking six or seven times. Multiple directors. We got women leading Blade around in his own movie, telling him what he's going to do. I'm, it's not hard to make a Blade movie. I, we'll do a deeper dive into this. You guys have seen my Blade lore stuff and all that. It's real simple. You start with vampires and Blade, kind of like they did with Blade 1 and then they went to like the hybrid vampires but instead of that because you're doing the mcu and you have the dark hold and characters like scarlet witch you convert into like the dark hold and varna you'll find you do a vampire movie for number one and you don't have laid playing second fiddle to anybody you just have him kicking ass and taking names and then you find out you know whether you have dracula or whoever is your villain you know then you go and you find out varna was the first vampire in marvel which he was in Marvel Comics. And you actually use some source material. And what do you know? You have a great jumping off point right there. And they're talking about Midnight Suns. Now, one of the rumors was Lilith was going to be like one of the villains in Blade 1. That would have been stupid because Lilith was the main antagonist and caused the rise of the Midnight Suns, which we're covering right now. So you don't start with a villain that it takes 10 people to take on in a solo Blade movie, unless that's what they were going to do with these with all these other strong women and have uh, Blade's daughter and whoever these other women they were going to use, you know, be the ones to take Lilith out. So good luck on that. Anyways, all right, so there's those movies. Back in 2022, post-pandemic, Marvel Studios threw a much needed Hail Mary at Comic-Con with a return to Hall H stage where the company announced not one but three phases of the mcu feige ran a tight ship in his usual role as a rock star showman while the creatives and cast from various projects trotted out one by one with announcements the stands the standouts of course were the emotional trailer for wakanda forever which basically took advantage of Chadwick Boseman's cancer, but they don't mention that in the article. We cried for Chadwick Boseman and cheered for Tanakh Huerta's Namor. Namor, you mean. And the announcement of Avengers 4 and 5. But the whole thing was the end of the day thrill ride fans have come to expect. A lot has happened since then. Disney CEO Bob Iger came back to Disney, even though he's freaking never really probably left. Jonathan Majors was dropped as Kang. And most recently, filmmaker Yann Demange amicably departed Blade. Okay, so they are going to mention Blade. Deadline first reported the news. Marvel Studios declined to comment. And that's it. Okay, well, that's a short article. So yeah, they're going back to Fall H. You know, they grew a pair. The misogyny runs deep at Disney Marvel, you know. Of course, they're going to Hall H to promote these white male characters. What bigots, right? They hid out and they didn't want to promote any of their MCU strong women last year. What was that all about? I don't know. Pretty odd if you ask me. That's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share this out to any and everyone that you think is interested in real Star Wars and real Marvel content. Until next time, see you later.